Hi, I'm Jared Falk, and in this video, we're gonna show you exactly how we EQ the overhead mics, our hi-hat, and our ride cymbal mic, all right? So what I've done is I've brought in the drumlessons.com sound engineer, Victor Godera, and he's gonna help us and show us exactly what he does to make these cymbals and drums sound amazing. Victor? Hey guys, so glad to be here. So let's take a look at the hi-hat. First thing, Jerry, if you wanna just start playing it, we'll get some level and then start tweaking the EQ and then I'll explain what I'm doing. Sure. Okay, so these hats sound really good. I'm just making a couple of small tweaks. So let's take a look here. So I'm cutting at about 320, 330 hertz, just about 2 dB. I'm boosting the high shelf just a little bit. And these hi-hats have such a large character to them. They have a nice low mid range and they have a nice amount of sizzle and high end too. So I just love them as they are. Okay, so now let's check out the ride slash auxiliary hi-hat mic. So I love the sound of the ride and the hats. One thing that I'm noticing, I'm getting a lot of low end rumble from the bottom projection of the ride cymbal. And that energy is concentrated at about 340 hertz. So I'm cutting that to extreme extent, about 7 dB or 8 dB. And then I'm boosting the high shelf at 12K, just about 2 dB. And I just love it the way it is. So let's take a look at the overheads. And I'm gonna get Jared to play the entire kit, bass drum, toms, fills, everything and then we'll get a good representation of the kit with the overhead mics. Okay, so I love the sound of these cymbals. A full set of Pisces cymbals just sounds absolutely beautiful. Let's just dig into what I'm EQing here. So I'm just boosting a little bit of the high shelf, and I find that that's a general boost that I will do on a, even a different drum set, even in a different studio. So I'm boosting the high shelf at, at 12K by about uh, 3 dB. Then I'm cutting the low mid at about 240 hertz by about 1.5, 2 dB. And then I'm taking the high mid and sweeping the frequency all the way to the top, 18 kilohertz, and boosting about a half dB or one dB. And I just love the sound of these cymbals again. Yeah, and I think it's important to note, guys, uh, what Victor is saying is the cymbals, you know, play a really, really important role. 
um, in the overhead mics, obviously. And a good set of cymbals is going to make um, your overhead mics sound way better. If your cymbals are sounding really, really trashy to begin with, it's going to be really hard to EQ that properly and make it come out um, sounding like one of these. It'll be very, very difficult. So it's always good to have a good foundation um, to, so to start or a good source, and then it makes you know Victor's job a way easier, I think. So again, some guidelines that I follow are you start with a good instrument, cymbals, drum shells, then you start with tuning those things properly, and then the player, how you hit them, and then comes the technical side, recording, mixing, and mastering. So thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you around.